Welcome back again to part two of our creating our Power BI report for our Power Up Challenge 2024. And if you're new here, just make sure you hit that subscribe button, add that notification bell, and hit give the video a thumbs up. But let's not waste time. Let's just jump back into the video. And we are back where we stopped, which is the available animals screen. And for this screen, we're going to start by first adding our first visualization which is going to be an insert text box so insert a text box and i'm just going to modify this a little so just extend it all the way and then drag it up a little let's give it some room so we can have something to put underneath and then double click on it and then write in okay and while that's there just Double click and highlight on it, and let's just increase the font size to about 18. I'll put it here and then I'm going to center it. You know, let's increase the font size to 28. Yeah, I think that's better. And then reduce this up a little. Okay, so and while we're here, click on the side of the button or uh, of the tab. And let's add a button. So we should be on insert. So just go to where the button is again. And this time add a back button. Okay, and then we're gonna put this back button right here. We don't really need to do anything. It's actually a self-serving back button. It just does what it does. So it goes back to the last screen. And then that should be it for prepping up the available animal screen. Okay, so now before we start doing anything, how about we grab some data? So let's go to our, go back to the home, home tab. And there are ways we can get, you can, so you can use get data, but since we have all our data in the Dataverse, I'm just gonna go to the special one that is con for connection to Dataverse. So it has like this spin cycle thing. So just click on it. And it should start connecting you to your Dataverse. So if you haven't noticed, I'm actually logged in under my username. And that's why it's just going directly to my Dataverse and making the connections. It's probably going to take a while. All right. So it's finished spinning. And if it prompts you to make a connection or sign in or anything, just go ahead with the prompts to connect to your Dataverse. But once you're done, you should see this navigation screen. And the first thing you will see is your Dataverse and then your environment. So just click on the environment. And you can search, but since we are looking for an ASD and it's right up top, I'm just gonna use the scroll bar. So the data table we're looking for is our animal info data table. And it's carrying the ASD prefix for our publisher. So just hit that and then hit transform data. And let it grab the data in. Okay, so it's also gonna you if you want to use import or direct query use import so just leave it as it is and just click ok awesome so we have our first table pulled in which is our animal info table and it's gonna have a bunch of rows so it has if you look down below it has like 78 columns and like a thousand rows so that's way too many columns that we need so the easiest way i know to do this is to use choose column. So we'll just click on choose columns and click on choose column again. And on select all of them and we're gonna pick some select columns. So just go ahead and pick this columns. Okay, so the columns we are gonna be selecting, I already went ahead to pre-select them. It's gonna be the ASD animal info ID and then go down and select the rest of this. 
So microchip ID name, you can pause and look at this. Let me go down a little bit so you can get more room. You can pause and look at what you need to select. And also select this next ones. So starting from, I believe it's animal adopter. Just select the ones that are selected all the way down to shelter name. Compose and select that. And then the last ones I want us to select are gonna be the animal foster family data and the here's the shelter home. So these are the columns we're gonna be selecting for our first column choices. Once you're done selecting that, hit OK. And you should remove all the other columns and we should have less columns to work with. Awesome. So it now says we have 21 columns. I want you to scroll all the way to the right where we have our shelter name, foster family data. So expand the foster family data. And then the first thing we're going to do is unselect use original columns as prefix and also unselect all columns. And then we're going to pick some columns. The first one is going to be the ASD foster family ID. And then we're going to pick the foster family name too. So as the foster fam foster claimer name is the name we want, is what we want. Once you're done with those two, just click OK. And then when that's finished grabbing the data, okay, we're back. Drag it all the way to the end and expand the shelter home too. And for the shelter home, let's do the same too. So this one has used original column already unselected, just like that. And unselect, select all columns. And then grab the shelter home. and the uh, shelter name. Chances are we might not use this column, but I just want to grab it just in case we need it. All right, so, and with that, we should be done with all the data we need for our animal table. Okay, so one more thing before we close and apply. I want to make sure that our data table actually looks good. So we have a microchip ID, that looks good. Our name looks good. Type name, date of birth. Okay, so for the date of birth, as you can see, it's grabbing the time. I don't want to grab the time field, so I'm gonna change this. And while that's clicked, just Go to the date and time reference up top and just change it to date only. Okay, so that should be good. Let's see if we need to change other date and time fields because I have a feeling we might need to. Yes, yeah, so we need to do the same thing for arrival, foster, and date of adoption. Okay, I'm just gonna select all of them. So just control and select all, all the columns you need to change. All right, with control, click and all of them selected, just do the same thing like before. But this time we're gonna do it for multiple. So click on the date, date time and just select date. Okay, so it's finally changed the value for all of them. And I think we should be good. We could change this later, but I like the way the data table is losing. So on the left top side, please close and apply to grab our data and bring it into our Power BI report. This might take a second, I'll be back. Awesome, so our animal table is finally in and you can see it with the data we brought in from the Dataverse all lined up. I am gonna make some more modifications, but let's say you need to make a modification to this table you just grabbed. The fastest way is just make sure you're on the Home tab. 
So once you're on the home tab, you just click on this table power query editor here. And it will take it directly to the table columns of the Power Query. And you can make more modifications if you need to. Um, I'm going to make one last modification to here. So we're going to rename this. We're going to name it ML Info. And let's hit Save and Close. All right, with the animal info changed, before we continue, I want to grab one more data. So go back to our Dataverse column and click on Dataverse. And when it pops up, we're going to grab our shelter location. So just let's search for shelter location this time. OK, so. Make sure that you click the drop down and the drop down shows before you hit the search. If not, it's not going to let you search. But once that is there, just start typing shelter and we should see our tables pop up. The one we are looking for is the ASD shelter home. So just grab that and hit transform data just like before. You always want to hit transform data so you can clean up your data before you bring it into the report. Like just like before, also use import. Let that come in. All right, so our shelter home is in, and I'm going to rename this first. So rename it shelter home, and don't forget to hit enter when you rename it. Enter once you type in the shelter name. And then, as you can see, if you click on the shelter home, we have like 47 rows, 47 columns, and five rows. That's way too many columns and rows. So, we need to reduce the columns. Just click on shelter home. So, we're on the right table. And just like before, we're going to use choose columns. And I'm going to unselect all of them, and we're just going to pick some select columns. OK, so the columns we're going to collect, the picking are going to be the ASD Shelter Home ID. And then if you go down to the bottom, we need the Shelter ID, the name, Shelter Location, Shelter Manager, Shelter Capacity, and Shelter Types. Those are the columns we're picking. Once you're done with that, hit OK to grab the data. awesome this looks good now it doesn't matter whether it's saying one two three that's fine we know what one two three means and then this should be okay just hit close and apply to bring in the data table and it's going to take a while so I'll, I'll see you in a minute okay so that's enough grabbing of data let's start adding some visual visualizations to our table so we can start to see what kind of data we're pulling in. So I'm just going to click on the screen, anywhere on the screen, and grab our first viewed visual, which is going to be a table. So you can just leave that anywhere on the screen. I'm going to reduce the filter so we can have more space. Drag this to the bottom, like right in the middle should be fine try to make sure they both align so use the grid the grid is your friend it's actually your best friend so use the grid to align your columns together all right and then let's start adding some data for our table so the first thing we're going to drag in so expand the animal info table. Let's extend this out a little so we can have more room to play with. And I'm just going to grab the animal name. And then we'll grab the type. Yep, 
You have the age. Grab the sex. Medical condition. Medical treatments. And shelter status. Now let me extend this a little so we can have more room to see what's going on on the left. Okay, let's do some edits to this. Extend this a little first so we can see much. I don't like the way the animal is coming up. So just click on the animals tab. And then let's change it from sum to don't summarize. Okay, that looks better. And then we are probably going to rename these fields. And if you have worked with Power BI before, it's basically a UI that is very flexible. You can extend the tabs increase the tabs as much as you want so it's a very very flexible application i encourage everybody to be familiar with power bi i use it at work so i'm kind of i'm more familiar with it but i encourage everybody to be very familiar with power it's a very powerful tool especially when combined with power app and power ultimate okay so this looks good we will We'll probably extend this and fix this later and then we will name this field but i did want to continue with with our table creation and also so if we go here where we have our tables we have only two tables here under the model view if you go under the model view tab Oh, look, we're actually in lock. So Power BI has seen the connections between our shelter home and our, and our animal info, and that's already made the connection. This will save us at least a couple of minutes because we would have to do this manually. But if you click on it, you can see the relationship. The, the relationship is between the shelter home and the shelter home. So these are the two cardinal points that connect it together. And that's how it made a relationship between them, which is awesome because we have to have done this manually. The other thing we are going to create before we continue with our visualizations, we need to create a DAX table. Uh, a DAX table is a it's it's a a DAX date table. So a DAX date table is what we're going to use to get our timeline for all the information that's going on in our data table but that is going to take a while so we're going to do it in our next video for now we are just going to stop right here and okay i'll see you in the next video thank you for joining me goodbye